Charlie boy there, gentlemen. So if there'll be half an hour delay, but it's been one of those stupid days where you're just out and about. I was out and about since like 10 this morning and I didn't get anything done. Because one office told me to go to another building and another building told me to another building. By the time I got to that building, it was four o'clock and they shut down at four o'clock. Or it was like three o'clock. And I'm like, oh, we're done in an hour, so we can't guarantee your service. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just go fuck myself then. So anyways, we're having a bit of a interesting night tonight. So we're going to do just a quick and dirty little stream on Unreal. One of my favorite games and one of the first shooting games I ever played. And then we're going to do a live cast of a Warcraft 2 tournament that's happening at around 9 o'clock, so four, uh, four and a half hours from now. So we'll take a, we'll take a break at 8 o'clock for an hour. Everyone can uh, relax, and if anybody doesn't want to come back for the Warcraft one, they don't have to. So, um, yeah. How awesome is this? This brings back all the memories. For those who haven't played Unreal before, this guy was the precursor to Unreal Tournament and is the literal birth of the Unreal Engine. For some reason, Epic Games then called Epic Mega Games, as you can say. See, they, uh, they some, for some reason, want to scrub all history of Unreal from their... Like, you can't even buy it on, online anymore, unless you already have it on Steam and good old games. Which is ridiculous. This is like... The Unreal Engine is named after this game. Because this game was way ahead of its time, so... It's, uh... It's an interesting conundrum. Right? Hey, what's going on, Archeon? Woo! So I figured, what, what, it's kind of perfect that I chose to play this today because it's been a fucking stupid day, so now we just get to shoot monsters. This game has one of the best atmospheres, uh, great AI, great pacing. Kind of confusing le level layout, and no matter how many times I've played this game, I still get lost in it. But it's got some of the best examples of environmental storytelling that, uh, that I've that I can think of in recent memory. You're a, you're a lone prisoner, prisoner eight four nine, and you are uh, you met you basically like you you wake up on a crashed ship on a foreign planet. You don't know why you're on that ship. You don't know. Uh... No YouTube today. Well, I am. Archeon's on YouTube. Why is YouTube not working? YouTube, Psst, call call sign in. Roll call. For some reason, my uh, if, if, you, if you mean like the Discord bot didn't show the YouTube, but like that, I did notice that too. But uh, I should be on there. You should have my channel under favorites. Yeah, the bot did not. I, I, yeah, I noticed that. That's what. That's bizarre. I don't know why it didn't do that. I can't be fucked to give a shit about that right now. There's probably some. Like the the reason I had to do all this bullshit today is because. For some reason, like, I'm trying to sign up for, like, employment insurance, and it just won't work. And I call them, and they're like, oh, we don't know why it's not working. So you have to go in person to this building to go to this building to go to this building. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, why can't it just work? And it's because it doesn't know what my parents' last name is. I, it's the same name as me. So it's like, oh, the, 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 our records show that it's getting correct. Are you sure it's spelled different? I was like, yes, I'm sure it's not spelled different. We're a very unique last name. Anyways. There you go, yeah. So YouTube is working good. So. Prisoner 849 escaping. That's the only characterization we're going to get for the rest of the game.
Ah, uh, tonight should be a good one. We have a this and we have a Warcraft 2 tournament later on, so that should be fun to do. Be kind to your cellmate. Violence will not be tolerated. A bunch of people's journals and stuff. I don't know if you guys are particularly interested in the lore, but it's some, that's some pretty cool little lore bit tidbits and stuff. But yeah, we got a blood filled toilet with a bandage on it. A bloody bandage. And this person saw way better days. Looks like a fucking lobster. Prisoners four, prisoners three, two, is that game? Is that game? Something is amiss up here. You have entered a restricted area. about as close as you're ever going to get to a living human being in this game. So basically what happens, I'm a prisoner on this ship. Don't know what I did. Don't know where we're going. But the a planet called Napali, which is where we're at right now, there's a strange magnetic force or like a tractor beam type of situation coming on and it uh, drags our ship, and not just our ship, to crash into the surface. We are the only survivor right now, but you'll find uh, journal entries of people that have, that have already escaped and left the ship, but their their fates are not uh, guaranteed. I like how they just, <laughs> it's just a leg here. Put him on there, put him on the gurney. His pulse is low. Oh, fuck, did that guy get up there? I'm playing on hard too, so I, I usually play this on medium. So you I'll have see how entered it goes. a restricted area. Something's not right here. I try to have the old gun sounds. This uh, this game has the updated. Since it's Unreal Gold, it has the updated gun sounds. So stand by for two seconds. I had to type it something into the uh, uh, console there. Thought I had it. One second. Oh, the fucking game crashed. Wicked. Ho ho ho. Oh my god, what a disaster. Let's try that again. <laughs> Open vortex. Two. Mutate. 
rotator. Equals old weapons dot old mutators. All right, let's try that. Prisoners eight over nine escaping. Prisoners four, prisoners eight two escaping. Oh my God, I almost, I almost just died there. Going speed run now. I used to do this when I was a kid, try and like save, because you see these people like screaming and stuff in other rooms. I'm like, maybe I can save them if I run fast enough. They're just innocent people. If it doesn't work, we'll just play normally. I think I might have to download some uh, unofficial patch or some such. You have entered a restricted area. Playing on this resolution, you can see my inventory at the bottom right. It is so tiny that I won't be able to see very easily how much ammo I have for my weapon, so. I should try and chase this guy too. Go, go, go. Alright, it did work, but whatever, we're gonna play it normally. People were let down, they weren't able to save them. I was let down, I wasn't killed myself. Who are these guys? Blood too for like one guy's. And who's Marco? Everyone's talking. Everyone keeps screaming this one name, Marco. Where's Marco? Best songs in the whole game about here. underrated gun this too by the way it's one of the only hit scanning weapons in the entire game so it really helps the speedy bastard enemies Actually, I don't think I've ever explored over here to see if to see the front of the ship Magazines here. That's that's cool. Is there no HUD reskinning? I think there is, but I have to fuck around with it. I was late today coming in, otherwise I would have taken a little more time. Because I I'm trying to get the old gun sounds working because I had the game when it was just Unreal, the CD. It was in the box with like the jut out and the CD, the disc, the jewel case was inside. Um. And I, I personally prefer the old gun sounds, but they added, uh, like, Unreal Tournament gun sounds to a lot of their weapons. So maybe, uh, well, we won't be able to finish it in three hours, for sure. Because I'm going to do a little bit of extra exploring and stuff. But maybe I'll get it working for the next time we, we play this. What's the key to uh, quick save? Where's quick save?
I think it's F6. Uh, input. Audio controls. HUD. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is a HUD layout. Never mind. I thought I was going to actually... Uh... Okay, F6 and F7. I just figured it out. There, you, can, you can exploit the game by doing that. So if I can get it working. <laughs> See, you can uh, you can jump extra high when you do uh, F6 and F7. That's some speedrun tactics. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's try and get let's get on top of the Vortex Rikers, if I can. First of all, let's see what's going on up here. That's what I love about this game. Like I went to a place I've never been to before, and there's uh, there's some ammo there. Okay, I'll do it here so I can kind of see how high I'm going. <laughs> Hey! Look at that skybox, eh? Couldn't do that in 1998, uh, Windows 98, I'll tell ya. Saving and loading took like 20 minutes back then. That waterfall blew my fucking mind when I was a kid, too. I'm like, oh my god, look how cool that is. Gotta shoot the birds? You can't shoot the birds, I'm sure, yeah. I think it just disappeared when you did that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to watch a cool video, type in um, Unreal Speedrun GDQ, and you'll see he, he shows you all sorts of tricks like... Uh, damage boosting with rocket launchers and the uh, shock rifle and stuff and Cliffy B himself actually donates during the run. He donates like a thousand bucks or something and he's like, man, you're, you're playing the game that we all loved. Uh... Ow, problem is getting down. <laughs> actually, I should go over here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can skip like entire levels by doing that uh, F5, F6, F7. I'll do a, I'll do a couple little skips. I don't really want to like cheese the game because I enjoy playing it casually. <laughs> but there's one in particular. The ISV Cran is a really shitty level or series of levels, and you can skip almost the entire map by doing one uh, jump boots. You don't even have to cheat or like do F6 F6 F7. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is my red light jump all of a sudden? That's, that's a problem. <laughs> I must have, uh, must have pressed something here. Hang on. Really? When I was a kid, I always tried to save this guy because he actually yells and then gets thrown across the room. And if you stand in front of the brute, you can you can soak up his rockets, but it's just a dead body, like he dies. Hey, Styles. I think the art style holds up for a game this old. There are new games for Absolutely. Well, like I was saying earlier, um, the not just the art style, but the visual, like the environmental storytelling that this game does is impeccable, you know, like, and the variety, too. There's spaceships, there's ancient castles, there's mines, there's sky temples, there's uh, sewers, like, there's all sorts of um, different varieties of environments you go to. It's just really, it's really awesome. Every weapon has a primary fire and a secondary fire. In this case, this gun, this gun has a normal hit scan fire type, and then it has a gangsta style, which shoots faster for some reason. <laughs> Let's 
say it, and really gold. I wonder what the engine is. Yeah, that's what I mean, like styles too. Like, for some reason, Epic Games, they're, they're, they've, they've like discontinued Unreal. Like, you can't buy it anymore, and they're like scrubbing all their server. Like, it's like they're trying to erase the, his, the, the memory of Unreal. But it's like, bro, the Unreal is literally the name of your engine. Like, the engine was based off of this game because it was so powerful. Was, this was like the crisis of the early 90s, you know? Or 90s in general, I should say, early 90s. Yeah. Like, this this blew people's fucking noodles when they booted this up. It blew my noodle. I was like five years old when my, my dad booted this up, and I was like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit, Manta. Now, these things scare the shit out of me. It's one of the oldest Let's Plays I've ever done, too, is this game. And I almost died when I, <laughs> this thing, I was literally talking about how the Mantis were scary as fuck. And then one attacked me, I was like, ow! Also, one thing you can do blow your mind. So, I guess, the first step. Yeah, the first enemy shoots rockets at you, yeah. That's interesting. So I'm playing on hard. I normally play on medium. And on medium, this guy is alive. Because he, he, he his journal's over here and it says he's praying to this guy's body. Now pray for their souls. Yeah, that's interesting. They're the only friendlies you'll find on this planet, on you know, the Mali. They actually are really handy to keep alive because they, they bring you to, um, they take you to secret places. With, uh, early gun unlocks and stuff like that. Grew up a Doom, Quake, Quake 2. Yeah, see, I was, Unreal was my, my, oh shit. So, the difficulties in this game, for a certain extent, um, they don't actually increase, like, their health or damage, they just make, they just add enemies where you least expect them, or more enemies, I guess. The harder difficulties after this, um, like on Unreal and above, they do they they do just like give them help. It's the only gun you I think the only gun you reload too, other than the expansion pack. M. Welly. I should have strayed. I should have stayed with the others. I think my leg is broken in several places. My brother went looking for help eight hours ago. So yeah, it doesn't really tell you how long you've been uh, basically knocked out on that spaceship. You're just like, oh, here I am. Because there's this, it looks like people have had an entire, like, quest. There's a few, there's a few spots where that, that box is supposed to float. There's a few spots, like people's journals you meet, where they've been, they've been like hiking for days and camping and looking for people, and it's like I just showed up. What the fuck? It's lost art nowadays. It's all how spongy to make it more accurate. Absolutely, I'd rather like Halo did it well, actually, as well, where not only did they add more enemies, but they they changed the ranks of some of them. So some of the elites were, I mean, yeah, you did you took a lot more damage. Don't get me wrong. But instead of like an elite, you'll fight like an ultra and like uh, special spec ops grunts instead of regular grunts and stuff. Someone beat Age of Mythology Deathless? Oh. That seems very hard. I think, I think I know who you're talking about. His videos came up in my recommended feed. The 
console, the console-ify the genre. Made it too dumb for the phlegm. They, I would say they definitely innovated. So instead of, like, with the whole... I think the controls in Halo, I guess, for a console, even though it's like... They, they had to do it for a console. They did a really good job at making the controls, you know, hold this button to flip the vehicle and get in, and switch weapons. It just felt really, really smooth. Two years, you bitches. There's shit. There's a lot more enemies. Jesus Christ! You can actually play as these guys too. Eh? You can you, you can actually play as the corpses. <laughs> I guess it makes it thematic when you actually die yourself. Didn't fire or come out prettier than Halo. Had health and regenerating shields in two minutes. Oh man, that game was utter trash. Flares and stuff is neat as well. Fire Warrior had a two weapon limit by health packs. Make it sound like Halo is the reason and not that everyone else just thought to copy it. I would, yeah, I would say the. Well, it's, it's kind of like Gears of War and the cover based system. You know, like, there, wa there was cover based systems before Gears of War, but Gears of War just like. They they clicked it and it just worked. I mean it was it still had issues, don't get me wrong. Like you got stuck on a lot of stuff and but compared to other games, it really, you know it really uh it, it almost it like pioneered it in a sense. Innovated, I don't know, I'm trying to think of the right word. I would say mastered it. But Halo definitely made console shooters think about how they're played. They set yeah, they set the standard. Magigar Mines, I like this level a lot. There's just a random leg in here, like, is this Smeagol's Cave or something? I think it also, Halo also had a really strong narrative, I guess. The first game, oh, like the level design in the first game, I personally think is kind of bad, besides like their masterpieces, like our town site, um, and Halo, the, the second level, but like the whole copy paste in the library and shit. But it had a strong enough characters and a strong enough narrative that it, it kind of like kind of ignored it and it didn't have strict objectives too right um 
Like when you think about like Call of Duty or Medal of Honor or GoldenEye, like if you failed an objective, like you straight up just lost the mission. Like the, the second, the Halo level, you have to rescue three squads of Marines, right? And get them evac. But that does not matter if they live or die. If they die, you just get kind of been like, hey, why'd you, you fuck that up, Chief? And you just move on. Like you don't have to redo the level. And there's no stealth where if you fail the stealth, you fail the mission. Fucking metal is that? Renegade, I love Renegade. That's a really, that, I would say that's a very innovative game. Unfortunately, I just didn't, uh, didn't keep the speed, you know? But they never, they never worked on any other ones or anything. I guess I should have killed this first. Oh yeah, that's a, how. What a way to introduce an enemy, too, eh? Like, what a what a crazy uh, another example of like the non-cutscene storytelling. Like you're just you're just there. It's like a half a horror movie. somewhere along the lava. So uh, here's a good place to skip. Ah! Excuse me. So here I can quick save and quick load and uh, just get up there and skip this whole part. Oh. You're not supposed to get this gun yet, which is really cool. Red Faction, that's another good one. One of my favorites, actually. Return to Castle Wolfenstein, yeah.
the, that's when the shooters started to become more like more tactical as opposed to like twitch twitch shooters like this one unlimited ammo well not unlimited ammo but like no magazines no reloading besides the off mag in this game in particular projectile based weapons too not uh, hit scans These guys are obviously inspired by Predator too, eh? With their wrist blades and dreadlocks. Red Faction is really fun. If not absurdly, just going to be totally... Oh yeah, what if, what, I can't remember which video I did. I think it was Kingdom Under Fire uh, Deathless video. I talk about how Red Faction is one of the biggest identity crisis in video games. Like, their first game is like an environmental destruction sh sci-fi shooter. The second one is like a military um, military uh, squad shooter type thing. Third one's an open world. Uh, third one's an open world Grand Theft Auto type rebellion game. And then the fourth one is a cave dwelling sci-fi, survival horror type shooter. And every game like completely removes what they the previous one special. Now there should be a, a shield belt in there, I believe. I can't quite remember how to open that door. Motherfuckers can play dead too. Never played Red Faction beyond the time I saw as a demo on the computer server. Red Faction 1 is really good. 1 and 3. Don't worry about the other two. 1 and 3 are awesome games. AVP is so good. Yeah, I've already streamed that on Halloween. I don't know if you saw that there. The, if you want to watch that, Revan, the, the VOD should still be up on my YouTube. Legitimately terrifying game too. Game. This is one of the first games with like a lot of violence too that I played. Like the fact that you can like go to a dead body, and, like usually it should be a jib, but like to like blow people's heads off and watch them roll around and shit. When your head gets blown off, the camera follows it around. It's awesome. Quick four, I quick four is underrated as fuck, Alfonso. I think it's really fun. A lot of people didn't like it because it was such a departure from the other Quakes. Because it did what Doom did. Doom 3 did, remember? Doom 3, there was like a series, like in the early 2000s, where games... Like like Unreal 2, by the way, for another perfect example, where they went away from the more... Like, arcade style into more story-based or horror-based. To be fair, I really liked Doom 3 and Quake 4 a lot. And Unreal 2 is not a good Unreal game. But there's something about it that I find kind of charming. I don't know. Oh yeah, the strogification. The strogification in uh, Quake 4. That's a good example of like environment, not environment, just storytelling, because it's kind of a cutscene, right? Look at that! 
guy with the balls of steel. God, I'm like really low on health here. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go next to this guy and fucking press the button. Push the whopper button. Yeah, volitions. Unfortunately, they're they're toast now. Well, volition. Uh, they made Summoner, too. I've been meaning to do something with Summoner for a long fucking time. But they made Summoner, too. Another, like, not great game, but it's something about it that just keeps me coming back, you know? Also, I can't type on the keyboards on a full moon. <laughs> Unreal was it? Japanese first person shooters. Oh, okay, this part's important. See, if I had just did the F F6, F7, I could have jumped. Ah! Jesus, okay. I legit wasn't expecting that. <laughs> shitty but don't worry about it you get more of these later on some of these bloody uh ah. <laughs> oh yeah also like your your casings Casings come out on the floor. Uh, that was another thing that uh, I've never seen before. Quake board just continue on Quake 2. I don't see the issue. Well, because everyone loved Quake Arena, right? So they just wanted every Quake to be the same as Doom, essentially. But I really like the story-based Quakes and like the the, the, the squad-based mechanics in that game were pretty pretty solid as well. Is unreal, real. Oh, I'm sure they. I'm sure like that joke has been made trillions of times, and probably that's probably why Epic Games is trying to scrub the history of Unreal from their roster because they're like, we're just sick of the Unreal jokes. <laughs> I think I really don't make quick forwards, then I finish on normal and get to the cheese for easy. Oh. History Channel Civil War did that to me. They, they stole my thousand achievement points. Because one of their achievements was bugged. All it was was like, kill 20 people with a pistol. Never, never procced. German version cut the scene so the player had no idea why he was. Really? The Germans uh, cut the stratification scene? Why is that? Are they, uh, so is Germany like really uh, hard into censorship and stuff? I know they, they're very sensitive about. Uh, uh, like Wolfenstein and stuff, like having the swastika all over the place, they don't like that. Which I suppose makes sense to try to, uh, really trying to stop any kind of a, a history of that happening. 
or not history, but like, I don't know, any kind of glorification or anything. Oh! Bro, what's going on with this guy? He's fucking jacked up. Oh. do that I guess if I'm talking while the uh, while I'm shooting and stuff might have to turn off the whole game <laughs> this game does not like to be minimized Terminator's hardcore and sensor control Game is too loud. You gotta hear the awesome soundtrack, though, right? Not a problem. Let's try that. I suppose I could have just gone into the game's options. I just went to my OBS. And didn't know that was there, did you? <laughs> oh, fuck it! Shit! <laughs> it knocked me out of the damn thing. Uh, threw me in the lava. Oh, I did it again! Germans got their game version in Austria because the Austrians didn't give a fuck about it. That's, that's, that's interesting. Never played Unreal, grew up with Unreal Tournament though. Oh, Unreal Tournament is amazing, but if you want like the story, like Unreal with a story, I mean, it's not much of a story, but it's really cool. Like, it's a really cool adventure. And the 
bot matches in this game are nuts too. I'll get to quick save shortly. You have to save, yeah, and then get fucked. My favorite it. ASMD is the Unreal Tournament 99 one. ASMR rifle. Uh, and do you know what ASMD stands for? And suck my dick. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to say that after you shoot people with it. Raslow. See those dodges? Man, these, the AI in this game is still impressive. Even from today's standards, you know? Like, Unreal Tournament had some, like, such lifelike bots, you know? Ah! me just casually cheating. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh, I can just push that box out. Oh, well. Suck my dick. <laughs> Wasn't easier to pop the console and type fly? I suppose, but... I don't even know if that works in this particular game. I know in, uh, in this one, in Unreal Tournament, you can, like... You, the console's cool. You can do, like... Um, uh, like, third-person mode and shit like that. The Red Faction, you can do that, too. You could do a uh, second person, which is basically you, you were just a flying gun, and you could go through the whole map and kill all the enemies, and then go like look at the triggers and see how they behaved without like people there. You'd, you'd see guys like getting killed by nothing because it's scripted for them to wrestle with somebody or some shit. I'm actually. I really want to figure out how to get the the old guns sounds. The old gun sounds, I think, are way better. Now, where's that fucking Manta? This Manta, when I did my Let's Play, like, 12 years ago, scared the shit out of me. I could easily skip half this level by just uh, quick saving over that. But I want to play it. There it is. Oh, I forgot. Exactly what I was thinking. I forgot to go down here. 
Say a little secrets. Fishies. There are sharks in there. I gotta find where they are and shoot them. Kill all hostiles. It's good to crap any all those years ago, but now I went to the bathroom before I started playing. Yeah. I actually did too, but I still got surprised. I've already been surprised like three times already. The Scar is such a formidable enemy. Not a sh fucking sh like I hate water enemies. There are sharks in there. Oh, another leg. There was. There's one. You see it. Water looks so good in this game too for the first time. Those are dirty fishies nibbling at me. Another manta. I, I tried that earlier, uh, Archeon, on that exact code. It start it starts you off in the first level. Um, like it worked, like it, it loaded the level, but it didn't load the old gun sounds. Well, that's a different one than the one that I had. I might be able to, that, that's a different one than the one that uh, the forum gave me. Let's just save that really quick. Um, what's this map called? What, where am I on? Okay, it's called Sacred Passage. So I, I should be able to do this. Okay, open Sacred Passage. Tater. Because uh, the one that they, it gave me said, open Vortex to mutator old weapons. Is that right? Okay, it's a Sacred Passage. Oh, I can't find Sacred Passage. Um... No, see, it's the same gun sounds. And I don't have a pistol. 
Yeah, see, it didn't work. It didn't work there either. Fuck those fishies! Look at them! Look at them go! Nibbling at my shield belt. I just had more nostalgia for them. I do think they sound better. Some of them, like the pistol sounds a lot better. And the sniper rifle does too. I'm supposed to be able to make this jump. <laughs> I know you can shoot the chains, but you're sp the speedrunner was able to uh, get it. I'll do it fair. I'll do it fair. I guess. For the flares, I suppose. supposed to open that door. Oh, 
bitches. Let's toss up some more stall levels and go check it. Yeah. Nah, bro. Once they get to like their scared um, behavior, they just won't help you after that. Slip. If they want to serve in combat, they will serve in the fire glider. here. It's not so blurry down right now. Oh my god, look at all these fucking mosquitoes.
Nothing you can do to save these poor bastards, I'm afraid. Dragonfly. So I have to go down here again? Things are tanky bastards.
see where it came from. Huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, turn dodge off, by the way, if you haven't played this game before. The dodge is on by default, and that means if you double press a movement key, you'll like, and like jump in that direction and do a little barrel roll, and it's, it gets you into more shit than it would uh, save your life. Pretty cool though, the wood floats.
So, like, auto jump, yeah, auto jump in Minecraft. You are free. Well, the always said death was a release, not a punishment. Actually hit him. Strange like device this is. That should be healing water, but I want to see what this guy is showing me first.
on for a little ride. Still sneaky that one, is he? <laughs> Can you go back up? Alright, let's uh let's see.
as a low, these levels are in. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, like, the, the art direction of the levels are really great. It's just the, uh, the layouts of the levels leave something to be desired sometimes. Like I said earlier, I still get lost. I've played this game a thousand times and I still get lost. Okay, I can use the po power amplifier for the first time here. Killed the first boss. Trying to stay in the middle. Super health up there. Ah, oh, Jesus. That was, like a, that was a rock that was getting stuck in there, going... He took a lot more than I remember to take down. Maybe he's uh, boosted stats on that harder difficulty. I even used my fucking power amplifier for that. I was going to see if I could try and stay up in the cage the whole time, but... Uh... Go right or left? You're gonna to wanna to go left here. Hey, Glorious Grin. Love the sound effects in this game. Yeah, me too, but I was trying to figure out how to get the uh, the original sound effects working. I've tried two different uh, console commands and they don't work. I might just have to like download a, a fan patch or something that I wasn't aware of or something. Because I personally prefer the original gun sounds more. through this fucking well. There's like a shit with those dragonfly dicks. Oh, hello. I mean, you're just gonna shoot up all your storage.
you bastard that supposed to get up here otherwise oh I see you on the roof up there Souls roll. I turn. I turn rolling off because rolling is a, not as a liability, especially when you're like trying to inch your way across. Holy fuck! Shot him on the roof. Uh, when you're trying to like cross a narrow bridge or something, you almost always like accidentally double tap the left key and you're, and you're dead. Show me the door, I already know. <laughs> oh, he's got to show me another one. Oh. Thanks, bruh. Here we go, the grandpappy. <laughs> the best, probably the most iconic gun in all of Unreal, and maybe even a lot of 90 shooters, the flak cannon. <laughs> Me, but the, the aliens doing the Dark Souls rolls. Jesus, he's dodged like six shots. Flat cannon doing my time. This flat cannon is way better than any of those stuff. I like how the scars just like chilling in the graveyard, like. He was praying to this grave, why? Grave is the grave. Need to run, I might catch some Warcraft 2 in the water tomorrow. Right, on Arcan. Yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, I'll be doing Warcraft 2 live casts. There's a live tournament going on in about three hours. So we'll play this for another hour and a bit, maybe. And then we'll take a dinner break or something, and then we'll uh, we'll pick it back up at 9 o'clock. If you guys are interested in that, of course. Are you heading out there too, Chaos? All right, buddy. Oh, yeah. Exactly, Revan. This one is probably, one of the, probably the best gun in this game besides the sniper rifle. Um, but it's definitely the most iconic, for sure. This thing... Fox. Look how much look how beautiful it is against the slit. Oh. 
two solid crunch. Even need that super health, buddy. I got it. Give me two, two uh, boxes of flak ammo, though. Those are the crunchy, the crunchy. Uh, Crunchy jibs you want. Hey, Zazarus, by the way. Three hours. Yeah, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, they're going to start the uh, Warcraft 2 tournament. So I figured around 7 38, well, I'll shut this down. Um, and then I'll even, I'll probably have to do some finicking around to find, like, to get into the servers and stuff with them as well. Um, and then play away. And then, yeah, we'll try casting uh, another tournament. Heading out there, Revan. All right, there, buddy. Have a good, uh, have a good night. If you want to watch the Tired Warcraft tournament, you can check the VOD tomorrow. I also finished v recording my voiceover for the Footman Only video. I'm starting to put stuff together now. I have, uh, I have a clip of uh, with a subtitle, "Itty Before Doing the Run," and it's a, it's a clip of uh, Simple Jack. Like doing this, and then a, a clip of Eddie while he's doing the run, and it's um the guy from Green Mile, and he's like, "I'm tired, boss. I just want it to end." This level, this nest, this nest, about that stroke. This next level has probably the best soundtrack of the whole game. One of. See, the Vortex Rikers wasn't the only ship that got dragged down here. I go for a swim there. got him. Alert. He was trying to build a video. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he's popped into my chat a couple times. He might even be playing tonight, I'm not sure.
This level's confusing as fuck. But that, I think the server, the server that I'm casting is going to be the North American server, so I'm not sure if Trogalark is in that or not. I know he plays a lot with the Europeans. Oh, acid! Oh, this guy's jacked! He's got a toxin suit. Kill everything, including the slip, so I'm not sure. The new Quake, or is it new? The new ish, like the, the, didn't they revive Quake Arena or something? Isn't that still popular? Quake Champions or something? Remember that bizarre ass uh, Battlefield clone? Quake Wars Enemy Territory or something? That game was fucked up. I do know that, uh, Grunt, that getting Quake, at least Quake 4, to run on modern systems is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, since I played it recently, I have it on Steam or Good Old Games or one or the other, and I still, I still really enjoy 4. I think 4 is underrated. Bros, calm down with the fucking rocket launchers. Bullshit shield on. Fuck me, those guys are beasts. I'm not playing it hard, but god damn. Quake Wars, yeah. Your link led me to the wrong video. What? I know the bot, uh, the bot didn't link my YouTube channel for some reason this time. It usually does both, but it just sent the Twitch one for some, for whatever reason. Two 
too sure what this is doing for me right now. <laughs> somewhere. your shield bullshit. Oh, fuck sakes. Not one rocket left. Let him do his thing there. <laughs> Did anybody play Quake Wars? Like, <laughs> I, I rented it from like Blockbuster and like played the single player, which is pretty lame. But that's it. But was it popular? Was it good? Like, I don't know. I don't even remember. I remember it just being like very battlefield, but not as fun. jumping on my head. Oh, there should be a... There's supposed to be like a um dispersion pistol upgrade around here. Oh. Rocket launcher. Never played Quake Wars, never heard of it until Quake 4. Hit scan a weapon, bastard.
my friend had on Xbox 360, but it's been a match. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why play Quake? Enemy territory Quake Wars when you can just play Halo. But that had like bot matches and stuff too, though. So you can, you can, you can almost argue. Yes, yeah, so you can argue it had a single player experience. I don't know. Point blank flax to kill uh, one of those juicy boys. Dang it. Some of them are skinny and some of them are uh, chunky buddies. Bio rifle. Not the best gun, but it has its it has its purpose. It does a lot of damage. Oh, I pressed something and now my HUD's different. Shit. There's a super health in there, but I want to I want to fill up a regular health first. Yes, I am. Hey, that's a good emoji. Carl with the sunglasses. Where's our, our chaos gone? He'd love that. How do I get that? <laughs> okay, you saw about half of that gun. It's a good lot of damage. This, this gun actually does a lot of damage. It's just, uh, it's got like shitty range and Dot. I think there's supposed to be a door with like Especially against like the larger enemies like Titans and stuff, the the, the bio rifle is uh, is a beast.
there's new enemies in there. Well, uh, I'll start streaming around like 8.45 or something. Just to make sure everyone's in there. And we, well, because I'm going to take a break at 8, 7.38, depending on uh, a good place that this game naturally comes to a, to an end for the night. It'll give, give me a chance to organize, because they actually have me for specific matches now, as opposed to just like, fucking get in a match, go! So I'll actually have some semblance of uh, organization, I think, I hope. Just looking at me through the window, like, who the fuck are you? Oh. Fuck these guys. Yikes. By Terranix. You had a bumping soundtrack, but uh, oh, still got more. Force field. Force fields are the most worthless piece of shit in this entire game, by the way. It makes a shield the size of, like, a, a sausage, and they put it right and directly in front of you, like this. Like, what the hell is that supposed to do? Oh, there is no second floor in this house. Interesting. Slaughter in here, damn. I hate to do this, but uh, that's 185. It's fine. Really cool. Like, this game has so much good atmosphere. That's what I love about it. It's like every time you're in a location, like, 
you're in a location for just enough time before it gets boring. Before you're in a brand new location. We, we've been in a human ship, a wonderful valley with waterfalls, to a, a, an underground mine, to a, 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 a coliseum, to a fucking a, a peaceful village in the outskirts, a mountain range, and now we're in an alien spaceship, and now we're in... Uh, is that a hostile? Looks like he has two arms. No, he bleeds green! It's one of hit scan weapons in this. fishies. Oh, it's a human corpse. <laughs> I knew there was, a, there was a place where you could swim to here. There it is. <laughs> Journal entry and see what they're saying. El Goronov. We've been stuck here for days. There are plenty of fish to eat, but they taste kind of funny. I never liked fish. So with this environmental storytelling, it looks like this chick was hiding in here, which is a pretty good hiding spot, was eating fish, but the fish must be poisonous because she's now dead. Cool. It's like you can piece, you can piece your own like story. You can piece the world together yourself in a sense. That's the last secret. That's what I love about this game too. There's all these like hidden little nooks and crannies, and there's always ammo. You know, you I don't think there's there's a single weapon that you like are always. I mean, you're always low on ammo for flat cans because you're using it constantly. But you, you'll always find some suit. It's not like Unreal 2. Funny enough. Unreal 2 was so stingy on ammo for specific, like, uh, unique weapons that it was like, holy shit. Okay. Mantis. There's a trigger here. There's a trigger here to skip this whole level. I forget how to do it. Because this, once you go in here, that gate closes. And you have to do a whole, like, little thing. I wonder if... I mistaken because that door did just open up there is a tr I thought there was a trigger in this map specifically this guy's a peak look at this guy that's fucking jacked maybe she didn't like to taste the fish and starve there's two dead fish there Maybe they went rotten on her. Oh, a brute. Seen them in a while. Those guys are juicy targets for uh, the flat cannon. 
Oh, maybe that's what it was. If you skip that trigger, this door is open. I think that's what it is. Oh, I was about to fucking blow him so far away. Oh, that was crisp. You know what? I might save that. Oh, he's got another one. Get to her. Oh, you see that? He picked up that gun. I knew they used, like, my guns against me, but that fucking guy literally picked up the gun off the table. That was crazy. Nice flak ammo. Always down for flak ammo. I remember seeing a Subnautica video where someone accelerated the flow of time so each day was like one second. As soon as he made a cooked fish, it was just... Oh, I hate that. I hate when food goes bad in games. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, awesome game, by the way. Jesus, this candle is like... Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance had like a hardcore mode where you had to choose a de debilitation. And one was like... Uh, Food goes bad faster or something like that. But you could get a perk called like a like grubby or something that made it so you could eat rotten food and it wouldn't uh, kill you. And man, it was like the best perk ever because you could just leave shit in your inventory for years. And it was it was as if it never went bad and you just eat it no problem. It's a really fucking good game. And I hate how it games. I leave my food out in the sun for a day goes all over. Yeah! I like the suspension of disbelief. My spinach goes bad every fucking 15 minutes. Oh, it's a Geodude! Yeah, there's Geodudes in this level. They're called gas bags. Something about it freaks me out. Bananas too, yeah, yeah. I'll buy like four bananas. By the time I've eaten one, the other three, they're either, they're either too ripe or, they're, or uh, they're, they're too raw. They're not raw, ripe enough or they're too ripe. But at least when bananas go off, you can use them in baking. Like you can use them in banana bread or banana muffins or something. Jack ammo. I wonder if there's Razor Jack to find this. Typically, when the level like gives you ammo for a gun that you don't have yet, it means it's maybe nearby. Scar had a shock rifle on. Oh, being here though, I do think I missed a dispersion pistol upgrade. Yes. I honestly don't use the gun enough, it's just one of those like completionist things. like that. I keep forgetting it does that. The gun, like, cools itself off every now and then. Beefy 
boy here. Doesn't move anymore, eh? I want a banana and carrot cake. Banana and carrot cake? I can't imagine that being bad. I haven't had carrot cake in a while either. I had banana, my landlady made me banana bread or banana muffins there uh, about a week ago. I still have one left, but it's kind of been sitting in Tupperware for a few days. Should probably eat it before it gets moldy. Uh, super health it should be right, right here. Juice. Oh my god! Size of this guy, oh my god! What the fuck? How random is that? Hey there, Nichols! Doing, buddy, on your Friday? How's your Friday going? Well, the music looked like it was, sounded like it was fading out there for a second. You see the fucking numbers. Oh. Ah. See how he leads me? Oh, that guy leads his shots really well. Bad, I'm better. You could win against him too, or win against me. And Helen Keller could beat me up in a fight, though, so it wouldn't be very impressive. Ah! 
That's that's always creepy when you jump in the water and then you hear something else jump in the water too, and you're like, uh Oh wow, the sharks got down here. These things are just like spawning in here or something, innit? Yeah. There's nothing down there. Unless this guy is like throwing. Unless he's got a basket full of sharks. He's just chucking them in. Somebody keeps killing my sharks down there. It turns out something else. I have to jump in the water. This is the, this is the you the whole time. Hello, Mr. Cow thing. You can play as this. You can play as this in Unreal Tournament Gold. I think he's called a War Cow. He even has taunts. Let's move. not opening. Flatten me. Bitch. Right, I'm just doing it the old fashioned way. I've never died of this guy as much as I am right now. The uh, difficulty must make a big difference. Well, his rocks are what hit kills too. <laughs> and they still bounce around after. Oh, you dick. Wow, did you see that pattern? What the fuck is this? Holy shit. Oh, 
I'm getting fucking wrecked. Bounced, uh, he bounced the rock in the air and then hit me into the air to hit me with it. seems something seems suspicious here fuck this guy's taking a lot of damage Jeff? Pro Warcraft 140 run is incomplete. You need to do the last mission without invisibility, which is completely easy to do. You say completely easy to do. You say that. You say that. Yeah, I was at it for fucking three and a half hours, and there was over 16 catapults. The, the, the fucking, um, the script, the script is already done and recorded there, Pupper, so I'm not going back to it. <laughs> okay. What is the tactic, though? Like, do you have, do you, have you seen anybody else do it, or have you done it? Because I totally would, ah! I would totally check that out. I guess at the very end of the day I could just re-record it myself, but I'm not streaming that again because I wanted to fucking blow my brains out after three hours. I'm getting hit by the fucking back blast by these. hit by the back blast of the goddamn rockets for the rocks because the rocks were like bouncing off the back of the walls fuck that dude that was way harder than I was expecting the tactic used to get good I think I just got bad RNG in that map like the enemy did never attacked me with catapults which I guess you could consider a good thing um, but because of that they just stockpiled them because how else was I supposed to, to charge an entirely fortified base of 16 catapults with slow-ass footmen? That that was my whole point. I even wrote that in the script. I was like, you, pr you definitely could do it, but I couldn't. Either way, like, the, the run was kind of invalidated anyways because of the fact that um, I had to... 
you, like I had to use knights on Sunny Glade, and I had to use heals on the um, the Dead Mines and Medivh's Tower and stuff. So, really, what 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 does invisibility do for me in the last level, other than to let me just finish? <laughs> This is a cool, like, level two. So another another human ship has come down and crashed. Made this huge uh, ravine. Now there's a titan down there, but I'm sure shit not gonna fight it. Oh, there's, oh, there's two titans. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that in both regards. There's a scar down here. Oh loud he coming. Oh loud he coming. <laughs> Zipper won't let me drive this thing though. Oh the door! Shut the door! Close the door! It owes you money. The second Titan said mean things. <laughs> your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Oh! It's trolling me still. <laughs> oh, you're a joke. Okay, you know what? Let's just fucking. Fuck you, you, the Titan is still fucking with me right now. This is pretty fucked up. I think we can beat this level. I have a cheese. I have a little cheese. Poor guy got his fucking head blown off by something. is terrible in this level.
Razor Jack. Not a very good one. like multiple troops and I had to M command every move since I used an online emulator to play last map was still easy. Well good for you because it was a pain in the ass for me. So what what's what's the secret to it then? Because I thought I did about as good as you could do it. Terminator song. Well, my background is that I'm Warcraft 2 champion, retired, held rank 1 for a record amount of time, like 13 months. Hey, what are you playing tonight? Because I'm casting some Warcraft 2 matches in, uh, in about an hour and a half. Oh yeah, good jibs there, spicy. Hey, where the fuck am I going now? Oh. to the place where I can skip most of this game, most of this level, but I need jump boots, I forget. Where exactly?
terrible timing. Health so bad. Oh, did he walk into this thingy here and kill himself? Man, there's a lot of fucking enemies in here. I don't have lost as fuck. Oh, he didn't let me uh, discover him. I was gonna say, you don't wanna see something fucking cringe so that the Scar can play dead. <laughs> Can't play tonight, thank you for the offer on the stupid schedule in life at the moment. All right, all. well, there, there's, a, there's a North American tournament going on at nine, nine o'clock, that's why I'm, I'm casting it. That's why I ask. Didn't know if you were part of the uh, Know if you're gonna be part of it Sh to show them who's boss. That's fine and all, but Jesus, this, game, this level's pretty stingy on uh, <laughs> armor drops and stuff. Jump boots when I got Tyrannix, it's like they uh, they automatically just expired. Whereas I, sh I should have had to have activated them first, I thought. Because normally I'd still have boots by now. Power. 
No health of armor. They kind of actually make it through that. <laughs> Get toasted. Oh crap, I'm pretty far away. Well, maybe that'll be a good spot to uh, cut her until the tournament. Alright. Yeah, looks like I'm getting messages on Discord. Right in. Thanks for hanging out for this quick little, quick and dirty little uh, casual play of Unreal. I'll, uh, com I'll pick this up some other time when I get a chance. You see the seam in the middle of the uh, logo there. Um, I will be back on in about an hour and a half to, uh, to cast some Warcraft 2 North American live tournament. So uh, if you guys want to are interested in that, stay tuned for that. I'll update the uh, the the streams accordingly. But yeah, until then, uh, smoke them if you got them. Grab a bite to eat. The sun's still up a little bit, so I might go and uh, look at that for a bit. And then uh, I'm starting to cut together my uh, footman only video, so that should be hope hopefully be done by next weekend depending on uh, how lazy I am. But I got a lot of shit to do on Monday. Ugh. But yeah, I'll see you in about an hour and a half there, uh, boys and goyles.